Hello everyone. We have found not one, but two young male lions, and we're just giving them some time to see what they get up to. They could well be spending the rest of the day here, and there doesn't seem to be much prey in the area, sadly. They are quite hungry, and that's probably attributed to the fact that they are still learning the ropes of hunting. And like I said, there is not much prey in the area. Most of the herds are further north of where we are. We're on our way to a few more herds to kind of the south of where we are. So these guys are in the middle of where most of the wildebeest are on this side of the Mara. The one that's standing up is slightly bigger than the one who's lying down now. So maybe they're not brothers. Maybe they are cousins from the same pride, born at a similar time. And they have come of the age where they need to start fending for themselves and start looking for a territory of their own. Possibly, I mean, you may find that they are still trying to touch base with mom or their mothers and aunts as much as they can in order to try and cash in on some easy meals. So no different to young children who are leaving home at around 18, who enjoy getting mom's home-cooked food from time to time. Now, let me just move forward a little bit. I have noticed some potential prey skipping through the plains to the left of them, where they're looking in the direction they're looking. But sadly, the lions don't seem to be doing anything. So there go all the topi. And as you can see, nice long grass, it would have been a great spot to be able to lay an ambush. But it appears like these guys have possibly had a long night as it stands and are not interested in taking a stab at those topi. They're definitely looking in that direction, but I think they've missed the boat. Sounds like you guys have had an exciting morning. Taylor's had lots of good lion action on the hunt. Not too sure what Byron's been up to. I'm guessing still working on his bird list. And I wish him luck in getting to triple digits. <laughs> Hello, Saha. You'd like to know if all lions have got a similar coat coloration and pattern. And as a general rule, yes. I mean, most lions do look very similar. You do occasionally get a slightly pale version or a slightly darker version. Um, with the males, there's definitely a distinctive difference in their mane color. So when these guys grow up, one may have a dark mane and one may have a blonde mane. So mane coloration does vary, but the general body color is pretty much standard, unless, of course, you are lucky enough to see a very rare gene of lions, a recessive gene that causes them to be leucistic or white. And there's some of those in South Africa at the moment, some in the Timbavati, which is adjacent to the Kruger National Park and open to it, just north of the Sabi Sands where Byron is. And also on a very similar latitude further east into the Kruger National Park, there are, I think there's one male, possibly two white males in a pride in an area around a concession called the Nwanetsi concession. So there are a few white lion living in the wild at the moment, but there are very few of them. So that would be an example of a drastically different colored coat. Okay, well, I think that these guys are not going to be up to much more or much at all. So we're going to take a gamble and go and look for some more active lions, possibly closer to some more of the migratory herds, as we would like to try and find you guys some action, as opposed to just sit with sleeping lions. Very good.